CNBC TV 18 Weekender. Welcome back. I'm in conversation with Philip Hayden. Not too many people know that you're a musician, vocalist, guitarist and perform for a rock band, the Ministry of Blues. Uh, how do you keep these two personalities distinct? Well, for a long time, uh, this was pretty much under wraps. But then when you get to the internet and social media, etc., your private life gets very public. You know? uh, you're absolutely right. Till many years ago, people didn't know I had a, a day job and, and a night job playing music. Uh, well, I've always played music, you know, I, I started playing guitar in 1979 and I joined Himalaya in 1980. So, these, both these things have kind of progressed uh, together. When do I get time? Uh, till this date, I still put in at least an hour of practice every day. Because uh, I'm, I perform live. I perform live at least four or five times, four times in a month. And I believe people are paying good money to come and watch you, you know, they're buying tickets uh, to watch you, so you better be good. So far, so good. I haven't got booed as yet, so I guess I'll keep playing till that point. You have a guitar collection as well. Yeah. T take us through that, take us through your favorite guitar and how big, how large is your guitar collection? I have about, uh, currently about 18 or 19 guitars. Uh, I have a deal with my chairman. He says every year I buy, get to buy you one guitar. So you go choose a guitar and you go buy what you want and I, and that's a gift from me. And uh, I get a, I get a one line email from him around my birthday and which says that isn't at that time of year as yet which means guitar time. So I say, yeah, this is... I've got a great collection of guitars. I've got Gibson Les Pauls. i got 60th Anniversary Stratocaster, Telecaster. i got Fender Hotfields. i got the Steve Morse. i got uh, Carlos Santana PRS. There's a whole lot of guitars that I have. Uh, I need to learn to play them a little better. But the collection's absolutely fantastic and uh, I've been spoiled. Uh, but your brothers beat you at it, right? Yeah, my brother who taught me to play guitar has 40 guitars and... Um, so it all runs in the family? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. We get along like a house on fire. He is in the pharmaceutical business himself. But whenever we get together, it's always music, music, music. What ambitions do you harbour as far as music is concerned? Do you think this is going to be a big part of your retirement life? Uh, is there a dream that you have for music like you do have for the company? Yeah, now the, the dream I have for the company is going to take me, should take me a lifetime. So I don't know when I get to get off this and uh, but if I wasn't working for Himalaya, definitely there were two things that I would do. One is to hit a gym and bulk up, and I've already done, I've started right now, I started gymming. I'd bulk up, shave my head, get tattoos, get 15 ear piercings, and uh, both ears, maybe one through my nose as well, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and uh, I'd just tour, the, I'd tour the, the, the European circuit playing in blues rock until I, until I finally hang up my boots, you know, and uh, that's what I would do. I wouldn't work for another company, that's for sure. This is my first company that I've... It's, the first, it's my first place of employment and uh, the day I decide... The day things stop over here, I would just play music, that's about it. Right, on that note, I'm going to do a quick rapid fire with you. Okay, sure. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah. Quick answer. Sure, yeah. Okay. Your favourite Himalaya product? Lift 52. Uh, your favourite Himalaya personal care product? Name face wash. Okay, if you had to choose between Lip 52 and Neem Face Wash, which would it be? I'd use both. Once for the face, once for the liver. <laughs> Alright, uh, the biggest regret that you have in life? None. Your uh, favourite band? Two. I must admit the band I started off with and second is Ministry of Blues. You guys should come and watch us sometime. We play all over the country. It's called the Ministry of Blues. You can Google us. We're on and we play. We play every weekend. The biggest audience that you've had for your band? Uh, MS University, Baroda, Ferguson College, uh, Pune, Modern College, Pune, they were in excess of 20,000 people. Sea of people, great fun. The dream performance players? Dream performance players? Uh, well, these large concerts, yeah. We've always, I, I like playing on a large stage, a big stage with a big crowd of people. That, that's, that's a dream, that's a, a dream venue. Is there an overseas location that you would like to perform at? I'd like to tour Europe. Because there are lots of uh, blues, I, I currently play blues rocks. I want to tour Europe and do the blues bars or one, one, one day maybe tour America and uh, hit the blues bars. And these are small little places. Currently we hit the blues bars in Bangalore and uh, Bombay and Hard Rock Cafe etc. But I want to do that some, someday in my life. If you were to choose uh, a brand ambassador for Himalaya, who would it be? The people who use our products. They would be our best brand ambassadors. No big Which faces. is why we do not have a brand ambassador. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's been Absolute really pleasure. a pleasure speaking with you. On that note, it's a wrap on this very special show. Thank you so much for watching.
CNBC TV 18 Weekender. 